Hey, it's Miss Sansa Ray here, and I want to talk about becoming your truth. You know, you're supposed to thrive. You're supposed to feel good. You are good. You are loved. And well-being is constantly flowing to you. And if you allow it, it will manifest in so many powerful ways in your life experience. Everyone knows I'm into the law of attraction a lot. I believe I'm a deliberate creator of my own life. And I also believe that everybody else is a deliberate creator of their own experience. I believe that you can decide to direct your thoughts. You have to deliberately choose the direction of your thoughts and you can deliberately affect your own point of attraction, meaning what you attract into your life. Okay. You can't continue to discuss, observe, and believe things in the same way you always have and make changes in your point of attraction. You have to think differently. You have to think in a whole new way because doing that will bring you on a whole nother vibrational frequency. And like I say in all of my other videos, you are basically a beacon. You are calling towards you what you are. It's like your phone. How do you think your phone works? Your cell phone works without it being a cord on it. It's because it's giving off vibration. Uh, If you hear or see or smell, you are translating vibration with your nose, your eyes, and your ears. So everything is vibration around you and you can change whatever frequency you are on using a combination of your feelings and thoughts. Every emotion that you feel is about your alignment or misalignment with the energy of your source. Source meaning God or your universe. Your emotions are your indicators. A lot of people feel like when they're mad, they have to respond to being mad in a negative, angry way. When really your feelings are just telling you, okay, you are observing something that you do not like, that you don't want to experience. So now it's time for you to think about how you want to respond to this. Your emotions are also your indicators of the vibrational variance between you and your source. So when you pay attention to these emotions and try to focus on good feeling thoughts, you are using basically a guided system that your emotions are providing for you in the way that is more positive or conducive to what you want to experience in your physical body. Your emotions help you understand what your vibrational content is and therefore exactly what your current point of attraction is. And the whole point is to attract good things to you. It's science, you know, it's metaphysics. It's something easy that you can do with practice just like anything else. Distinguishing between the actual thought of what you want and comparing it to the thought of its absence is sometimes difficult. But distinguishing between your emotional response to your thought of your desire and your emotional response to your thought of the absence of your desire is a very easy thing to do so I think it's more important that you understand that your feelings are your guides you know becoming who you truly are becoming your truth basically stems from you understanding your feelings anything that you give your attention to will become your truth your life and everyone else's too it is a reflection of the predominance of your thoughts There is no exception to this when it comes to the universe and God. So make sure you understand that, okay? Make sure you watch all of my other videos, share my videos with everybody else. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. The number is in the description box below. Make sure you check out sansaray.com, okay? Have vision and stay focused.